chose our swims i've chose willow bay because of the willows i'm at the end um the swim i wanted was taken um because it's a double so some people who wanted a double should go in there rightly so so i've chosen this one because it gives me quite a lot of water i've got up this channel here i've got quite a long way up this channel um and i've got all this water behind me all to myself because what they say is that if someone's in the swim I'm in, you can't go in that swim. There was a lot of crashing out last night. It took me ages to get a kingfisher. It took me ages to get asleep because of the noise of the wildlife, the crickets, you know, when you're first getting used to it. But the, I woke up in the morning. Oh, yeah, I feel good. Uh, I think they're indulgence bed chairs, really comfortable. Um, but yeah, lots of splashing in here. Just a little splashing like that, but some big splashes underneath these trees here uh, and down here by the lily pads. So I'm in dilemma because over the back, over there, there's a little another channel that comes down to that point, <clears throat> and I heard some big kahuna splashes. So I might move around there today. I'm gonna have a walk around there when I go to I know because breakfast gets brought, so I'm gonna go for a walk. Once I've had a cup of tea and have a look down there, see if I can see anything. Maybe put a, a few boilies in. And, uh, so here we go. But if I start catching in here today, I'm not going to move. It's nice and shady this morning. You get the sun really bad here in the afternoon, which is good because I can get me budgie smugglers out and do some sunbathing because I'm on my own. But hopefully next time I'll show you something a little bit more interesting than my ugly mug. Right. right, it's about 11 o'clock Monday, um, I've moved, obviously, um, this room I've moved into is almost like a bay, um, and we've been hearing fish crashing out all night, every night, um, so I've just thought, well, I'll pick up the gear and move around, it's good because you don't have to take the bivy. I've got a massive bivy. Uh, uh, R series two man up. Big. I can sort of like lay on the floor if I want. Um, yeah, so I've moved out. Got three spots doing um, every breakfast. But I was a bit worried because I could have got in there in the first place, but I was a bit worried that it being a bay, I would sort of, if they weren't in here, you're trapped but they're definitely definitely in here it's absolutely boiling in this swim in my other swim it was shady till about three o'clock in this swim it's just boiling hot now um got two rods down my right hand margin and one down my left hand margin um there's, there's definitely even setting up while i was setting up there were fish crashing under the tree on the edge of the point um so yeah i've moved hopefully that move bring me a little bit of luck um and i can catch i'm going to take my t-shirt off in a minute because i'm actually sweating but i won't make you suffer that so hopefully 
today I can get amongst them. Oh, how big Ted. Oh, how big Ted. Laters. £29.12, first fish of the trip. On a link bottom bait with a diamond white pop up on top on top of that. Yes, yes, yes. Fish number two, 31.11. On the cell and a plum mini plum pop up. Just talking to the boys next door, and uh, Morgan is away. Some action on the camera at last. Obviously, I can't film myself. She's been waiting for this all week, isn't you, Morgan? In the net. Come on. Well done, Morgan. Well done. Macca getting in on the action. Morgan, just put your foot on that. Just just lightly, you haven't got a light stand for it. Thank you. On your camera. Well done. I'll just let you send it up. Yep. That's a, nice, that's a really nice long dish as well. Yeah. Look at this guy. Thank you.
Well done, Morgan. <laughs> Feels like it. After this last night, well, you won't know. I moved anyway the other day. I've uh, been putting a little bit of bait in, just freebies, link, fishing snowman over the top of them. And I had a 29, 12, and a 31, 11. Just had a 33, 6 mirror. And anyway, both the others were commons, by the way. Just gonna check his gob out. And then we'll get him up to show you. It's a little nick, there's a little nick, so. This one was a link bottom with um, plum. No, it wasn't. Where's my rod? Essential cell pop up, pink one. You're all right. You don't like that, do you? You don't like anything. You're just a fat, grumpy boy. That grumpy boy. Come on. It's all right, I won't get you in the eye, you won't. I was just in a little mark there. On his fin. Probably doesn't like the water that's in his eye when I tipped on him, you know what I mean? A bit finicky, can't they? He's got. I think he wants me to turn him round to show you this one scale he's got in the middle. Obviously he does. 33.6, yeah, 33.6, chunky mirror, and a tangle rusher, down in the vest swim. Caught over a better link, probably about 20 boilers each time I cast out. Come on. You're on a snowman. Look his ass, look his ass. Yeah. He wanted that side shown to him, didn't he? And I'm not even in my pants. Get in. Forty-three pound four. Soaking wet T-shirt. Uh. And pants. Right, 
my fourth carp of the day, 30 pound, 12 ounces. Proper give me a scrap this one down in the corner. You gotta love it when they have it with you. Lucky enough, Ross and Scott, innit? Yeah, We're Scott. walking by. So Scott's on the, uh, Ross is on the can. Lovely looking fish. Brilliant. Ross? Well, it's Thursday, nothing all day, nothing last night, and then see some, well, jump smashing around underneath the trees uh, over my middle rod, so I decided to bung a few boilies there. 25 minutes later, half hour later, 38.6. He's angry. Trevor, you're a knobhead if you see this. Ringing me up. Trying to do the fish. Oh, happy days, that'll do me. Just want his dad now. Thursday, I had one 38 earlier, now, so that's my biggest, so now I've just had a 2210, uh, so my smallest. That's alright, if I get a biggest one and a smallest one each day, that'll make, he's really a nightmare though, he was, he's already nearly knocked me in the face. Another lovely, hard fighting Vitangla Rocha carp. This one's a mirror. Most of them have been commons. I think I've had one other mirror. This one's on the link with a diamond white wafter uh, pop up just to make a snowman rig. That was the left hand rod, which is the furthest rod away, just up to some overhanging trees. <laughs> I hope you could hear that. That's in line with the trees, but they need to go over three rod lengths and it will be on there. So I'm going to get this one back in the water, get it back on the spot, and hopefully get another one tonight. Come on! My little mate, hello. Now you got power shower there to wash all the fish slime off of your hands. Um, there's a towel. Radiator, not that you'd need it this week, but <clears throat> it's lovely, works pucker. I'm not having it too hot. One thing I like is it's separate, and then obviously, if someone's having a poo, it doesn't stink in there for the rest of the time. 
This is just in case you forget what it is. It's a Ruwash. The Teleot. Oops, did you run in the mill bog? You'd have downstairs, really. Not a fishing lake, but there you go. Use that a few times. Right, it's the end of my week on the Russia. Um, I set myself a target, as I always do with my fishing, of seven fish, seven carp. I've managed five and a sturgeon, um, PB sturgeon. Um, and I thought to myself, well, what I would do is if I catch seven fish, seven carp, I would drink a bottle that I brought. I brought, I brought myself a bottle of Jack Daniels, Tennessee honey, because I don't like Jack Daniels. I don't really like whiskey, but that's really nice. So I thought I'd buy it anyway. So obviously I bought that and I'm going to drink it when I caught seven fish. Well, I haven't caught seven fish. I've caught six and one of them sturgeon, but I don't care because it's been pucker. It really has. They've spoiled us. Spo just, just spoiled us. The food, the hospitality, the tips, the, the advice, the help. You know, these guys really look after you. Um, and they've looked after me really well. So I'm going to drink my bottle today because obviously I'm driving tomorrow night. So I don't want to be over the limit. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to be a bit woo behind the car, you know, behind the steering wheel because that's naughty. Um, and you might hurt someone. So I don't want to hurt anyone. So I'm just going to sit. I'm going to drink my drink. Gonna drink my drink um, and enjoy my last night. As the sun goes down somewhere over there. Thank you, Russia. You've been pucker. This will be the last bit that you see, but it might not be the last bit that you see that I'm recording because I could record something if I catch a fish tonight. Um, yeah. Wicked, thank you very much. Will as well, remember Will? Lost some pixie. Yeah, been good. Come here, guys. It's it's really, really good. Beautiful. It's really carpy looking lake. I could have 20 rods in this one swim and still need another one to cast to a different carpy spot. Well, as always, next time. Later. Good boy. Seven fish. Six carp and a sturgeon, but seven fish, fish a day. What more can you ask for? Pucker food, pucker company, great hosts. And catching pristine fish like this. Oh, look at the shoulders of it. That'd be a good one. Wicked.